and uh, it also has uh, a very convenient fingerprint reader here. Yeah, could you show us how that works? Yeah, so basically uh, I haven't got it turned on, I have to train, train it to show you, but uh, basically what happens to unlock the phone, uh, all you do is press the button to turn it on and then swipe your finger like that and it will automatically oh, unlock. Okay. So you know how like an Android, there's, you know, sometimes it'll be inconvenient with that password screen. Yeah. You know, you can both totally bypass that altogether and uh, just that like that and it's, and it's, and it's, it's one fluid motion because it's in the back of your yeah, hand. Yeah, exactly. Right. Very convenient where your index finger is, you know, so you know, we're very excited about this, uh, this piece of functionality. That's great. And you so, can also hook it up to this dock right here, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, the battery's in. Yeah. So what does this do right here? Yeah, so what it's doing is, uh, when you pull in the dock here, it's, uh, it's launching, uh, it's detecting the dock here. Uh, put in this dock right here and hopefully it'll pop up on this so screen someone right someone keep my power cord back there? There we go. Yeah. Someone keep my power cord back there. Right, momentary dysfunction. Anyway, this uh, it does work with mouse and keyboard when the power is plugged in. But you know, we if you don't if you just plug in a HDMI cable here, this uh, doubles as a mouse pad here. Oh, that's great! So you could you know if you got a HDMI cable at home, just plug your phone in with the HDMI cable, and you know left and right mouse button, and then uh, you know and then this is a keyboard here. You know you can uh, obviously type as well. So yeah. very convenient to be able to do it that way. So let's uh, let's transition over to the laptop here, and uh, I'll show you. If you... Uh, oh, you. Oh, this is the uh, the top that was turned into a, a yeah. netbook essentially. Exactly. So you know what we've got here is uh, extremely thin device here. Uh, you see, this is a, the, the dock where you put the phone, and right around the back here, there's uh, a couple of uh, USB uh, ports there. Standard USB. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so you can you know, plug in a USB mouse if you find that more convenient, or uh, a USB uh, thumb drive. So if you've got a whole bunch of content that you like to have on your thumb drive, you can plug it in there and that'll be also be available. That's great. Yeah, so here, um, you know, we've got a touchpad, a lovely touchpad with left and right mouse buttons. Really nice feel on the keyboard there. Um, so what we'll do is we'll dock the phone here. See docking right there. Motorola logo, logo yep. for a second here while it powers up, and there, bingo. Perfect. Yep. And this is, uh, you'll see that this this phone window is exactly where I left off. Right? So yeah. it keeps it in the memory. Yeah, so exactly. Great. Yeah, you can you can run, rotate it around there. Um, and you know, obviously got access to all of the Android functionality right. right there in the window. So you could go straight to the Android market from yeah, right here? Yeah, you could go straight there. Um, you know, we're having trouble with the Wi-Fi. Yeah. There's just too many people. As you would assume. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, you know, obviously, <laughs> the other nice thing about this is, uh, you know, if you want to play, you know, different types of games and things, you can actually run this uh, in, uh, in full screen here. So we got Angry Birds full screen. Yeah. Maybe. Absolutely. Perfect. And you can hear the volume there, and then there's a you know, nice. Uh, and so, how would you actually control that? Since you need uh, to, it's like a multi-touch kind of. Ah, uh, to zoom. You know, and then you use it just you as you would with that. Yep. Um. <laughs> yeah, so you know, obviously you can see here, uh, and then you can see a really nice thing across the top here. All the applications, because Android is a multitasking operating yeah, so system, keep them kind right of paralleling what what Firefox does with multiple tabs. Oh, so great. if I go in and you know launch uh, you know the gallery, for instance, it'll show up as a separate. Uh, oh, that's great. Can you just uh, flick through your photos just by swiping right there? Yep. Oh, you'd have to do it with the manual keys. All right. Yeah. Uh, no, you can do it like this. Oh, you can. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. That might be a little. It's just more sometimes it's a little easier to yeah. do it with the arrow keys, right? Is the trackpad multi-touch? The trackpad is not multi-touch, but it, what it does allow is uh, we we do it enable it in certain circumstances. So you know, if I want to go, uh, uh, if I go to the browser here, um, I'm going to this website here that's being preloaded. Um, if I just do it, I can do it. You know, you know, a lot of laptops you can do a uh, you two, finger, two scroll. finger scroll. Very nice. So that's pretty cool. And then obviously, if you want to page up and down, just uh, you know, you know, obviously, just hold down the function key and do page up and down. Simple functionality. All the simple functionality, all the advanced stuff, all, all the, the macros things. that advanced you know users want to have are available there on the spot here. All running on the phone. It's all running from the phone. Yeah, this is a awesome. battery, keyboard. And the display. So it's also charging it as it's yeah. running it off. There. And it's not charging right now because the battery's full. Oh, okay. Because I've, I've been using it all day oh, so in the dark here. Well, that's great. Yeah, so, you know, fully functional browser. You know, have multiple windows, multiple tabs. Um, and then, you know, as I suggested before, uh, there's this nice little uh, 
thing that we have here where, uh, you know, if you get multiple windows kind of, you know, coming up here, you know, we can... Uh, Just easily switch between. You can e easily switch before. It looks like right. Android to me. Yeah. Uh, and then, so then after that, you can also hook it up to a, a TV. Are these all yeah. separate docks? No, they are all separate. All they're different. They are, they there's going to be different accessory packages. Okay. But you can see here, you got internal storage here as a file manager. So if you wanted to plug in a, uh, a USB stick drive on the back here, um, you know that would that would show up here as another source of information. Here. So if you've got some music and pictures, media that you like to have, you can you can access it from there. Well, that's great. So let's uh, let's move on to uh, you know the next uh, next uh, thing. So we can also put this onto an HDTV and let's see what yeah. happens. So this is actually this. this is actually the same, the same dock as what you saw here with the keyboard and mouse. Yeah, but instead I've uh, connected it up to a TV. So that could be like an office situation. Uh -huh. Yeah, you got a spare monitor that you want to use in your Perfect. office. But here you just take it out to the living room. You know. Put that up. Put that up. And bam, bam, bam it launches. Motorola Entertainment Center. Yeah, so you can see here pictures, music, uh, video. Um, and then WebTop, you can actually, you know, if you've got like a Bluetooth keyboard and a mouse, you can actually run WebTop on your living room as well. Oh, really? So all that same browser experience would be available on your big screen TV with some Bluetooth accessories. Okay, and then you uh, navigate straight from the phone, right? Yep, uh, you can either navigate this way, you know, or, uh, or we've actually, as part of the, the accessory pack, we actually ship oh, with a little remote control remote. here. And, and you can see how the, you know, same sort of things uh, as what you can do with the phone here directly. Perfect. So if you just uh, if, if 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 you got just a HDMI connector, you can plug just the HDMI cable itself into the phone, and you'd get this experience. Well, but if you want to spend a little more money, you can get like this uh, full full data experience. Cool. So I'll take you through some media, hey? Yeah, definitely. So let's uh, you know, go down to some uh, music here. Um, and then you know you can see the volume here. I can adjust the volume up and down here, right from uh, my living room. And I've actually uh, at home here. I've uh, I've trained my Logitech remote so to actually be uh, to oh, control wow. the phone as well. So you have like a Harmony or yeah. something? Because right. it just uses infrared, makes an infrared remote. So oh, okay. I, I trained it. That's so it's awesome. Pretty neat. That's awesome. So while you're, you know, you can imagine here, you know, while you're listening to a whole bunch of music on your big screen TV, you might want to go and uh, you know listen to some. Uh, you know, take a look at some pictures from a trip somewhere, play a slideshow, or if you've got some picture, particular pictures in mind here, uh, you know, you can sit back on your couch while you listen to music and uh, kind of thumb through the pictures. Yeah, oh, cool. a, yeah, so, you know, all those pictures that you take on your phone that are like orphans, yeah, exactly. and never, you never show anyone, yeah, right. you know, this is the perfect tool for being able to Perfect. Do that. And what's the resolution on the camera? On the camera itself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so right, this is, right, right now it's uh, running the TV at 720p. Okay. No, I'm, I'm sorry, the camera on the, the phone. Oh, uh, 5 megapixel five camera. Megapixel. Yeah, and there's a VGA camera on the front here for... Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, so you want to see some video on your big screen TV? Yeah, so, um, you know, firstly I'll show you here. This is a video I took with the with the device uh, a couple of days ago at the Motorola, uh, uh, you know, site I work at. So. Oh, well, that's great. Well, you know, yeah, I think sure. I was just... Let's yeah, well, I'll show you it again. That was at the end of the video. So you can see here, it's uh, yeah, it's, it's, That's nice it's tracking impressive. motion pretty yeah. well, yeah. and uh, you know, nice uh, vivid colours there. And, and then the uh, 720. Yeah, that one's that one's being played back at 720. The other yeah. yeah. All right. And then, uh, actually, I can go back here and uh, play it again. So you know, this is a HD video that we've got here. You know, and obviously, once again, you can control the volume of the video playback. I don't want to turn it up too loud, but you uh, oh, yeah. can do that here. But yeah, you're pointing it to the phone instead of rather than yeah. the TV. Yeah. Yeah, so I can pause it. You know, right for the remote here. You guys got any questions? Oh, that's, I mean, it's, it's 